If you've ever gone to create Instagram Reels before and wanted to add captions, there's probably a few different avenues you've looked at to create those captions. So you can create captions within Instagram itself, but of course it's limited in style and the fonts that you can use. Or you can use different apps for it, but these extra apps tend to cost extra money. Well, you can now add captions in Canva and this really changes the game and makes it so much easier to create captions for your Reels. It allows you to easily create captions and also style them according to your branding so you can choose your own fonts and colors really make it your own and create a style that's going to stand out so that your videos are going to become more recognizable and memorable because you've got your own caption style so in this video I'm going to dive into Canva and show you just how you can create your own captions for real all right let's create captions in Canva so what we want to do first is set up our page for a reel so what you want to choose is Instagram story. So this one here, then you're going to upload your video. So you want to go to uploads and upload the file. So you may have recorded this on your phone. You want to send it to your computer and upload it. So here I've inserted a video that I created. So now let's create captions for this. So what we want to do is go over to text and you'll see this new one here called captions. So we want to choose all video with audio. Then we're going to click the purple generate captions button. So this is now where we need to wait while it generates your cap. All right. So it's now added captions for us. So we've now got our captions in here. We can play it to check it. And you can see it's all done. So now what we want to do is we can click on captions here. And if there's anything that is wrong, you've got the opportunity here to fix anything. So if it got a word wrong, if it, it misinterpreted something that you said, All right. So now we want to customize it. So you want to make sure you've selected all of them. So it's basically layered them all up. So what you need to do is just use your mouse and select everything there. You want to choose your brand font or whatever font you've decided to use for this. You can choose the color of the text. So if you wanted to go dark on light instead, so let's say we wanted to go a dark color, then we want to go over here to effects. And now we've got this background. So we can now choose a different background and we can also change the effects and how it looks. So we could change the roundness of that. We can change how thick the spread of that and even the transparency. If you wanted a lower transparency and that's up to you. Now, of course, you've got all these other types of effects. So you could even have things like a shadow, a lift or anything else. So you don't have to have that color background. That color background often works well for a reel. But if you want a different type of look, go for it. Experiment. Try and find something that works for you. So something like lift could work well, too, if you've got something where the, there's not heaps of change in color if it's very consistent with the color and you want to do that or what you could do you go to elements grab a box you can always have a complete colored box behind maybe even semi-transparent like that and then we go back to our text so selecting all of it except making sure we select all the text and just make sure we unselect that box, go to effects. Now let's say we, we click on none to get rid of that background, but this time we choose lift. We want to make the text light now and let's see how that looks. See, that's another style. So as you can see, you can really get experimental with the actual styling of it. So you can use it like with the effect that it instantly gives you where you've got that background, but you could also put a box behind or you could have some other thing behind it and add lifts to add some sort of shadow to it so it's easy to read. So there's definitely lots of options in that you can choose anything really. You can choose any kind of font, any kind of styling, and you can really get creative with it. So there's lots of different options there. Like what if we decided to use a graphic behind instead of a box, we decide to use something like this. And then we've got that shadow on it. So that was a bit hard to read. So it's all about testing too, trying out different things, seeing how it looks until you get a style that you really love and feels right for you. So let's try that one. So that works a bit better. Maybe we want this to be a bit lighter so we could go to edit adjust make this background a bit brighter and try that 
And see, that is another look. So you really, you can make this your own and really create captions that are your own style. There are just so many possibilities. It's about getting creative, finding a style of caption that works for you, and then repeating that again and again so that you really start to create a style that stands out and is uniquely yours so that people start to recognize your brand by the way you style your captions. So I love that this is now part of Canva because it makes it really easy to create something custom, create something that's your own and generate captions super easy. So next time you go to create a talking head reel, make sure you try this out in Canva, see how you go and start to create your own style and look so that you can use that style and look over and over again and really start to build a memorable look and style for your reels that is gonna catch people's attention and get noticed. And of course, if you'd like to see more Canva tutorials and also learn about branding and graphic design, make sure you subscribe and happy creating.